15 mil. Zhang won the toss and elected to receive. Smart play just to give herself a chance to work into this match. Zhang has spent considerably more time on court than Sabalenka, about four and a half hours more for her six matches. Boy, what a confident start from Sabalenka. Coming into this, she's hit 24 aces, and in fact, Zhang's hit the most aces of the tournament. Double that at 48. So it's a perfect start for Arena Sabalenka. With the way Sabalenka is serving, this is why you can't afford to get down the early break in Jung, just wanting to settle into this match a little more before she's got to toss it up on her serve. And that's got to be a focus for her, try to hold her own in that department and use the forehand. We saw that last point. She's looking for that shot, try to keep a little depth and maybe give herself a chance to dictate more often. I really feel like the first up percentage is going to be absolutely key for Zhang. You just can't give Sabalenka a look in every point with the second serve, but she needs time on the forehand, doesn't she? She's definitely hitting it bigger than she was at US Open last year, but it's still a big swing, and there's not much you can do about that, but try and take the ball on the rise. Don't let Sabalenka push you out wide when possible. Jung may try to take a little bit off of her first serve initially to get a few more of those in. That one, 172, and Sabalenka was all over it. Forehand side from Sabalenka has improved so much. It was such a heartbreaking loss to Coco Goff at the US Open. She went away, she's reflected and made some really big gains on that side. There's a Chinese fan who I'm a little scared for because it sounds like she's about to lose her voice and we're not even two full games in. Yeah, plenty of support for Chin Wen here tonight. start it's been for arena sabalenka quick out of the gates and as you see win the set after an early break sabalenka leading the way at 94 percent compared to the top 100 at 70 percent so we know chanda that sabalenka is a great front runner yeah well above the average and you know this is where this is where she makes her her money is in the early stages of matches with the intensity she comes out ready to play and already her weapons on full display. Oh. 
Thank you. It's quickly, please. A little inadvertent, Lovely. this short reply from Zhang, but it worked to pull Sabalenka in and not on her own terms. Zhang able to take advantage. Back step well below the, the top hundred here. Zhang, so this would be a, a big win if she can get back on serve early here. Thank you. one I'm expecting her to play a lot tonight. Sabalenka going fast and deep into Zhang's forehand and you just see that's where the big swing is tested when she's pushed as quick as possible on the take back. Clear early here, Sabalenka directing a lot of traffic straight at that forehand of Zhang. And Zhang, she hits a lot of forehands down the line. I mean, a little more than 50%, which you usually see the opposite with players. That's going to be a very tough shot to hit down the line, over the high part of the net with the pace coming at her off of Sabalenka's racket. See how well she can hit that shot over the course of the match. so early and has really taken this final on here. Chanda, I don't know whether you feel the same, but I think we've seen Zheng use the slice forehand when she's pushed. Uh, she used it a lot against Yastramska. I don't mind it in this particular matchup.
do think Zhang will have to mix it up a bit and, you know, maybe that's I some slices here. thrown Sabalenka. in just to throw Sabalenka off rhythm to not give her the same rhythm over and over. Zhang can't play this match as straight up as a golf plays it who has so much speed and can cover so much ground. I think she's got to work to figure out ways to get Sabalenka a little more off balance. Sabalenka with a big turnaround here and a game point. That's five points in a row, and it's a fast start here for Sabalenka. Three love, first set. Perfect start for the defending champion. Sits down with a good lead, brimming with confidence. Especially after winning those last five points in a row even from love 40 down has to feel like any game is still hers in this matchup and the question will be what can Zhang do to get Sabalenka more off the baseline to get Sabalenka off balance hitting from more stretched out positions in the court and so far Sabalenka has had it all her own way Record crowds all tournament long. In fact, organizers have announced over a million people have been through the gates. And Lena, well, 10 years ago, she was the champion here at the Australian Open. Great to see. Lina back and here to support Chin Wen Zhang. The good thing for Zheng is it doesn't feel like she's nervous, and that's the reason why she's down three love. She just kind of got outplayed for a couple games there. Oh, well, you know, has the most amount of aces for the tournament. Added a couple more in this game. Well, she has a serve that can go toe to toe with Sabalinka's serve in terms of pace, in terms of unreturnables she can get that shot going that would be huge there's another one yep, on the board and there's a real boost for her confidence statistically served at around 53 percent Zhang all tournament but you would think chanda that first serve percentage for Zhang tonight really needs to be sort of well above the 60 percent I think it's a fine balance. If she takes too much off the serve to get more first serves in, she's going to be on her heels and on the defense. She's got to be able to still go for the serve, hit her targets, just try to inch up on that first serve percentage if she can. But this is the type of match that just gives you so much experience. You can learn so much from Zhang having played Sabalink at the U.S. Open. She's improved from that matchup. This is another test. Oh. Thank you.
14. Swimming well within itself, 186 kilometres an hour. That's by her standards safe. Can hit them over 190 kilometres an hour very comfortably. And it's a love service game for Sabalenka. Sabalenka Just the one break, one. but leads 4-1 first set. This 4-1 lead for Sabalenka feels a lot bigger, even though it's just the one break of serve. For Zhang, getting on the board, finding the rhythm on her serve. That's a bit of a boost for her. And this is where she's got to start holding consistently. Even if she doesn't win this set, she can take a little bit of that into the second set. So difficult when Sabalenka gets a lead. She's a terrific front runner, can get out more freely, more relaxed. And that's a scary thought when you consider how freely Sabalenka already seems to hit the ball. Zhang has to find a way to try to put just a little pressure, a little tension in terms of the scoreline right into this match. And the defending champion, Marina Sabalenka, in such good form all tournament. This is where Zhang has to find ways to build her confidence, her belief here, little by little. It's the little victories. First game on the board, first service hold. Right here, just keep her nose out in front. First couple of points here. Let second service. That is just almost unplayable for, from Sabalenka. That serve sat up beautifully for her. And she had her pick of directions to go to. Hasn't had much experience at this big stage. This is the quarterfinals at the US Open was probably the biggest match of her career, but this is such a different step up. And just keeping an eye on the ball toss as well. It looks like it's getting slightly too far in front. Just the one break and done a good job really you know, not letting this lead e extend or blow out. Yeah, that game has to make Zhang and her team feel a lot better. Getting back-to-back -back service holds. It's easy to let the occasion, the setting, everything kind of weigh in on you. 
Zhang has got to just keep the focus very small, try to lock in on the court. It's another match, and she's just trying right now to get the most from it. Can she get a few more returns back in play? that Zhang needed. Pia Reba there on the right in the, the yellow. Good player himself, got to number 65 in the world on the men's tour. His best result of quarterfinals at the French Open. things that Zhang's done this tournament has kept her emotions under control. She's had great focus in her matches and shows a lot of maturity for a young lady just 21 years of age. Again, just Zhang having trouble controlling the pace from Sabalenka, and that's where the disadvantage comes. Her not having played an opponent who hits the ball quite this big, who is at the top of the game, and Zhang having to try to raise her level here. Get used to this very quickly. unrelenting from the yeah, world number two. Marina Sabalenka just one game away. It's 5-2 yeah, in the first. Sabalenka leads five games to two. It's tricky, isn't it? Because she's played Yastrzemska, who obviously hits a big ball, but it's not the same consistency. So, you know, you might get the first one back, but then how about the second and the third and the fourth? Because it never feels like Sabalenka is going to miss any of those inconsistent shots the way that some other ball strikers do. Yeah, just does a wonderful job, doesn't she, of taking time away from her opponents, Laura. And it's just, it's unrelenting, isn't it, this attack from Sabalenka. I also think it's challenging. Zhang hits the ball fairly high over the net and those shots it make it makes her shots a little safer when she needs it but it sits up even more into Sabalenka's strike zone Sabalenka's hitting more down and through the court those balls are lower over the net and it's just been tough for Jean Sorry. to keep up so far it's a beautiful evening here at Melbourne Park, right in here on Rod Laver Arena, where it's women's finals night here. And it's a fabulous start for the defending champion, Arena Sabalenka. Girl took it like a champ. Yeah. Didn't even flinch. <laughs> Love that. This gives a visual to what we were just talking about, the net clearance, the average clearance for Zhang on the forehand, 114 centimeters for Sabalenka, 73. 
on the back end, a pretty substantial difference as well. And that's having Zhang shot sit right in the strike zone for Sabalenka. On the forehand side, you're talking about, I mean, from my reference, you know, over a foot difference in terms of height, which is great for margin, but not necessarily when you're trying to drive through and out position an opponent. That's a, a handy way to save set point. Second serve ace. It's an abbreviated toss that she has on the serve that has a few people questioning the technique. Great when she has time, able to pull the trigger on the forehand. Such a natural, athletic player. Yes. Well, already five aces for Chin Wen tonight. If she could get out of trouble and save three set points okay. here. Sevlink has been applying so much pressure when she gets second serve in the strike zone. That one from Zhang, just a little bit pushed, didn't quite accelerate through the contact point. Has to be mindful of Sabalenka stepping in. It's an impressive serve, Laura. It's a great serve, but I'm surprised that Sabalenka is not just moving out a little further because with the grip that Zheng has, it's very tricky to pronate enough to go flat down the tee. Really well done here from Chin Wen, saving three set points just to keep things tight here and ask the question of her opponent. Chanda. How can Chin Wen find some chinks in the armor of Sabalenka? First and foremost, she's got to keep holding her serve like she's doing. That's number one. And then work you, to find openings in the Sabalenka service games. Sabalenka now, though, serving for this first set. Players are ready. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Wide slider so well all tournament long. It's just been her go to serve.
15 only. It's worth keeping an eye on Zhang's return positioning. First serve in that previous point. She's staying pretty far back behind the baseline. She's trying to give herself a little more room, a little more time to catch up to Sabalenka's first serves. Second serve, she moves in. It's not easy to play from such a deep position in the court, a la Medvedev, who's way back. But for Zhang, she gets enough height on her shots that maybe that play can work. Maybe that positioning can pay some dividends. So far, she's still struggling to get those serves back in court. Fifteen. Well, this time it's a, a couple of set points on serve here for Arena. You see Zhang's confidence growing, able to lean into that return and get a better direction off of that forehand. So Zhang saving another set point. Not this time. That is a quality set from Arena Sabalenka. 6-3. Matches sometimes Sabalenka. It's an emotional roller coaster, but so far that set that would have, have taken anything out of Sabalenka emotionally or even physically. This is where Zhang has to long. start better. And already with these first two points on serve, it's a better start than she got in the first set. She can stay on even keel, use her serve as a weapon in these early stages. This could change the complexion of this second set. Thirteen, fifteen. You can see Zhang, though, trying to go to that wide serve. It has paid some dividends in this match so far. But with her grip, it's a little tough for her to get on the outer edge of the ball and create that slice. So we do see her slowing the serve up a little bit to get it more out wide. Oh. With her grip, it just makes the wrist a little stiffer and, you know, sometimes just not able to get that little extra snap that can give you the bit more spin, allow you to get around the outside of the ball and create a little more side spin as well. Oh. 
stunning forehand. Clean winner. 30, 40. It's been a highlight of this tournament so far for Sabalenka. Well, it's an unreal return, but the ball toss was so far in front that, again, she can only go with the sly serve here. And so Sabalenka read it right. She was in position well in advance. Oh. Oh. Boy, that was a little shaky in the end there of that first game, service game. So game. It's a set and one love to the champ from last year, Arena Sabalenka. And Laura, if you had your coach's hat on, what would you be saying to Chin Wen right about now? I would be saying get the first set percentage as high as possible. Don't worry about hitting aces. Just keep that shot up so that she's not putting so much pressure on herself to go big on the second serve. It feels like she's trying to do too much with that because Sabalenka is going, you know, all out power on Take the second serve return. But I think possible, she's please, going to try and get and some more height you. on the forehand. I'd like to see her go for her favorite forehand line, but heavy, lift it well over the net, get the net clearance way up and try and get some topspin involved in these rallies. That's good defense from Jean. I actually think Zhang is working on getting more net clearance. I mean, her average forehand net clearance coming into this match has been 91 centimeters over the net. The first set, she was about 114. I mean, that's a considerable difference. Just under a foot, about nine inches or so difference in clearance. So she's trying to get that ball up and, and give herself a little more margin. Let it. I think it's more the placement as well, though, because if you're hitting that shot with the net clearance cross-court, it's kind of playing into Sabalenka's hands because you're then sitting in a forehand cross-court rally. I'd like to see it go line a little more often. Fifteen. That's such a tough way to go for Zhang when she gets broken early in these sets. That was kind of the first challenge. And now Sabalenka continuing just to swing a little more freely now. Another good point from Zhang, just hanging in there. But you know, this is the battle of court positioning that Sabalink has been winning. She is almost a meter closer into the court than Zhang on average. And it's allowed Sabalinka to hit down more on her shots, to hit through the court, and to dictate a little earlier in these rallies. Fourteen, thirty. Oh, such a great front runner is Arena Sabalenka. Sabalenka leads the best two games on the women's tour, in fact. 
Got to world number one last year. Kept it for a fair amount of the year, but it wasn't until the very last tournament the WTA end of season championships where Igor Svantec won the title and then reclaimed that world number one. Yeah, Svantec ending the year as world number one for the second consecutive year. That is a huge number, huge position to establish the end of the 12 month ranking cycle. Fair to say Sabalink is throwing down the challenge right here. I just think Sabalink has made a lot of strong improvements in the last four or five months. It's really obvious. Yeah, I think over really over the last year with her winning her first major title here and playing consistently at the top of the game, you know, she gets more margin on her shots. It doesn't always look like it. But she gets a little more height. She brushes up and has a little more spin in the teeth of some of these matches, and it has made a difference in Sabalenka's game. And I was also impressed, Josh, 59. with how she adjusted and learned from the U.S. Open final against golf. She was coming in in that match, missed a lot of volleys, had points on her racket. In the semifinal match, she kept moving forward. She knew that was the way to the win. And even when she was uncomfortable, she made those moves. We could see Sabalinka cheating over to try to cover the wide 30, serve to her 30. forehand and Zhang changing it up down the tee. Anton Dubrov. He's looked pretty calm and no. collected, and why shouldn't he, right? He never gives a lot away, though. No, he's a, a cool customer. Yeah, Zhang going to the tee serve again, and this time Sabalenka was on it. A little bit of a miss hit, but she gave herself enough margin. That shot is still in. Zhang once again under tremendous pressure from the serve. And Sabalenka just unrelenting. Now that's a great play. Back in behind Sabalenka. We know that's where you can hurt the defending champion. And I think that's what Zhang has got to try to do as often as possible. Open up the court, whether it's with the serve, whether it's with her ground strokes, maybe going cross court first, then going down the line. She's got to not hit the ball to the same spot twice. Let her service. It's not so easy to do against Sabalenka, but kind of starts with the first ball. Thank you. Please.
Just one sec, Jenk. One of the things that's been so impress impressive about Zhang. Well, it's been a rapid rise up the, the rankings when we take a look at the, the journey that she's been on. It's been quick. Yeah, I mean, she was top 100 January of 2022. By the end of 2022, she was 25 in the world. And then 2023, of course, she made some big moves. And as you know, Josh, once you move up the ranks, it's harder to keep going higher. And Zhang has continued to push herself into the conversation Fine. starting this 2024 season. It's been fun to watch. Sun setting over Port Phillip Bay here in Melbourne. Thank you. It's been another beautiful day here. And on Rod Laver Arena, it's Sabalenka, a set and a break. See, I actually think for Zhang, that ball, that first ball needs to be cross court to create some open space, then down the line. There, Sabalinka is setting up on balance, and she's using all that space cross court, and Zhang just doesn't have the movement to cut off that much space, that much open court. That's better off the return. Oh, I think she's got to start moving further out on this ad side because Sabalenka is only going about 25% of the time down the tee. So almost take the backhand return, start firing up on that one. So she starts rethinking the placement of the first serve. Turn deep through the middle, it doesn't give Sabalenka any angle to work with. This time, Sabalenka went out wide, but she went bigger, and she mm. went wider with it. I mean, you've got to admire the fact that she's like, no, of course I'm not going to switch on my placement. I'm just going to go <laughs> bigger and better to the side that I actually like going to.
led for service. So well Savalenka. all night here. Arena Savalenka. 3 1 Savalenka second set. Three games to one. Oh, she's mixing her serve up nicely, though. That last last few points of that game, you saw the wide serve. Then she went to the T serve. It tipped the net. She changed it up, went into the body. Just continuing to keep Zhang guessing. A little more off balance on returns. Thank you. Players are ready. Classy. We haven't seen the drop shot yet. We saw it a bit in the semifinals and quarterfinals from Zhang and certainly has it in her repertoire. Hasn't been many balls inside the court for Zhang, and she made good use of the space. Fifteen all. It's such a difficult choice that Zhang has from that position. The down the line backhand is so low percentage. But if she goes back cross court, she's almost a sitting duck with the way Sablink has been hitting it. So much expectation, particularly from her fans back in China. Must be a very big occasion. Millions of people tuning in to watch this women's final. It's good poise from Zhang, not panicking. Getting her legs in the position here. Get a stable enough base. Hit a clean passing shot. Yes.
Our advantage, Salalenko. That's the fifth double fault of this set for Zhang, and couldn't have come at a worse time because it gives Sabalenka another break point. Let for service. Well, she's on the roll now, Arena Sabalenka. Gets another break. And it's 4 1, second set. Sabalenka leads four games to one. This has been good stuff from Arena Sabalenka. And She's been mixing up her serve, Sabalenka, beautifully, but it's been the out wide serve on both sides that have done the most damage. On the deuce side, 76% of the time she's going out wide. On the ad side, 64%. She is driving Zhang outside of the court. It opens up a lot of space for that first shot after the serve for Sabalenka. Oftentimes, she's getting it on the forehand side, and it has been devastating. Yeah, the tactics have been clear. We saw her training about five o'clock, warming up for this one. Serving everything out wide on the forehand, as Chanders explained, and then out wide on the backhand so she can just dominate this match. And boy, she's executed. Well, it's been a flawless performance so far from Arena Sabalenka. You look at a point like that, and Zhang, she's a lot closer than the scoreline indicates right now. If she can play a few more rallies like this one, lean into her shots, not give up ground, this is where the growth will come for the Chinese player. is tonight that Chung's going to play that first point of the game about 50 more times to just get herself back in this but their game styles just don't match up well you know you can look at the numbers all day but Sublink has actually barely changed a thing she's just going for plan A and she is killing it yeah, that's been the serve that's 15, 15. troubled Zhang all night long but hasn't she executed things so beautifully tonight? It's one thing to have the game plan and the strategy, but the execution has to be there. And Zabalenka from the start has been performing beautifully.
Thirty all. I think sometimes we have those finals where one player just doesn't get into it because of the occasion and the nerves. It just hasn't felt that way at all from courtside for, for Zheng. She's just simply being outplayed. So you kind of got to say, hands up, you know, what can I do? I mean, if Sabalenka can keep this level of her. tennis up throughout the course of the year, boy, she's going to be hard to beat at every major. Well, this was always going to be a matchup challenge for Zhang when you consider the movement. They're about the same in that department. Sabalenka just hits it a little bit bigger, a little more depth. And Sabalenka. And she's a little more confident as well. All right, she's been here in this position before. Now Sabalenka just one game away. Five games to one. Yeah, I think for Zhang, in this type of match, it is imperative that she focus on holding serve. So whatever you do, whatever you go back and, and look at adjustments to make, it's got to be on the serve. How do I hold serve? How do I get Sabalenka off balance when I have control with the balls in my hand? It's another game for Zhang to try to keep herself here in this match. She made it. <laughs> the fans just realizing it. Fourteen fifteen. Jason Stacey, he is the, the fitness trainer of Arena Sabalenka there. Oh. Oh, well done, that's an important hold there Game for there. Jin Wen. But it's Arena Sabalenka with a please. chance to serve for the title. 5-2, 7, seven, seven. Eight, five games, two, two. So one of the simplest service games for Zhang Yet. Holding to keep herself in this match. Can she create a little magic here? Find a way to break Sabalenka's serve. She hasn't been broken all tournament. Hasn't been able to 
create any stress for Sabalenka tonight. And it's been one way traffic for the defending champion. Well, and of course, Sabalenka has been broken. She was broken against Goff, right? Yeah, just, just Goff a, was able to break back. Yeah, it certainly hasn't dropped hasn't many games. Many, though. No, it's, it's been one of the toughest things to do this fortnight. Time. So the moment of truth here for Arena Sabalenka has played stunning tennis all tournament and with the new balls it's Sabalenka serving for the championship. Fifteen love. Can only imagine the thoughts going through her head right here and her team oh. <laughs> for service. Fourteen, fifteen. Still with one more championship point. Thank you. smooth sailing for Sabalenka, but it's never easy. Yeah, the heart rate would, yeah. be up, would be up now, that's for sure. Getting over the finish line, winning a major title. Oh, the serve is just worth the trade for Torres Long. Sabalenka. Championship point number four.
years. Hardest thing to do in sport, isn't it? To get across that finish line. Thank you. Young had three break points early in the first set. Now she gets another one. Oh, yes. What a response. for service. To back. Two sets Australian Open Six Championships Six for Arena Sabalenka has done it in style. 6 3, 6 2. Australian Open titles since her compatriot did it in 2013. Victoria has a rink that defended here. Yeah, she'll enjoy this, and why wouldn't you? Irresistible form all tournament long. sort of performance for some years here at the Australian Open. A disappointment for Zhang Chinwin, but what a tournament for her, her first major final. And you get the sense that if she continues to improve, there will be many more finals for her. But she just got out hit by a player who was so confident, who had such a big game. The serve from Sabalenka was working. And from the start, she was just clear on how she wanted to play this match, and she executed it beautifully. Well, 
The name goes on the Daphne Ackhurst Memorial Cup here. It's back to back for Arena Sabalenka. Hard to do. It's rare in sport to be able to come back and repeat, but what a performance from Sabalenka. I, I just think she's going to be awfully hard to stop moving forward as well for the remainder of the season. It really was a consummate performance. And it was all about the staples of the game for Sabalenka. And when she got past golf in that semifinal match, the way she did it, you kind of knew she was playing at a different level of tennis. And in this match, she really showed it. Really against an opponent and Zhang who can hit big, who can serve big. Sabalenka stood head and shoulders above. I think more it was the consistency that she played with. I mean, we know the big game that Sabalenka has. Well, I, think we, well, I think we must acknowledge the, the maturity as well. That and too. Emotional control that sometimes just can go. Uh, it was on the edge a yeah, few moments, and right. you saw her visibly rein it back in, get back to the basics, give herself a little more margin, get back to the staples of her game. And I think that's the key for any player. How quickly can you correct? How quickly can you adjust in these moments? Sabalenka, she is doing it incredibly well. That's right. And spare a thought for the team. Monte Anton Dubrov on the right there. Bottom right, coach Jason Stacy, fitness trainer. They've been with her for the whole journey. Boy, that must feel very special. They give everything for the for the player. They really do. You think about when Sabalenka was going through her serving woes and a lot of players would have blamed their teams, would have wanted to make a change, and she refused. She took on that responsibility, stuck with her team, and they have stuck with her. Full support, and you can see it in the results. And this is what you work for, though, these moments, the opportunity to win titles, to win a big title, and then to see your players seize the moment. That's what it's all about. Jinwen Zhang, she is a superstar in China and would have gained many more, in fact, millions of more fans. Yeah, she's, a, she's an incredible player, dynamic. She will be inside the world's top 10 when the new rankings come out on Monday. I think we'll make her debut at sub seven in the world. Second player since Li Na. They'll be celebrating long and hard tonight, and why wouldn't they? It's always difficult to come in with expectation to defend your title. You've got points where you have to defend and try and keep your ranking. But there was no hesitation with her performance from the moment she stepped onto Rod Laver Arena on day one here at the Australian Open. Simply been unstoppable. And as the draw got tougher, Arena Sabalenka got better. Got past the ninth seed, Krejcikova in the quarterfinals. The fourth seed, Coco Goff in the semis. And here, where all the pressure was on her as the top seed against a debutante, she performed with some of her best tennis. Just 25 years of age. How many more Grand Slam titles can Sabalenka win?
Wamintika, and welcome. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, the traditional owners on the land on which we gather and tonight pay our respects to their elders past and present. I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples here with us this evening. And on behalf of Tennis Australia, I'd like to welcome the Governor-General, His Excellency, the Honourable David Hurley, the Victorian Premier, the Honourable Jacinta Allen, the Deputy Prime Minister, the Honourable Richard Miles, and Victorian Minister for Tourism, Sport and Major Events, Steve Demopoulos, and all other dignitaries and government representatives that are here with us tonight. Joining us on court for the presentation is the Chair of Tennis Australia, Jane Herdlicker, Mr Ling Fang, the General Manager of Le Jou Le Jou, Tournament Director, <laughs> the Tournament Director, Craig Tiley, Tournament Referee, Wayne McEwen, and to present our trophy tonight, celebrating her 50th anniversary of her first Australian Open win, a seven-time Grand Slam singles champion, Yvonne Gulagong Corley. Well, the Daphne Akers Memorial Cup, which is awarded to our champion tonight, has been travelling around Victoria over several weeks with our AO on the road team and is now safely back here on Rod Laver Arena. She certainly is a very fine piece of silverware. <laughs> it's Daphne, everybody. I'd like now, though, to invite the Chair of Tennis Australia, Jane Herdlicker, to say a few words. What a beautiful night for tennis. Sport plays a really important role in uniting community, and that's ever important in an uncertain world. And we're so proud to announce that we've had over a million people from all parts of the community come and join us at the Australian Open to enjoy one of the world's best entertainment and sporting experiences. And we've also had over a billion people around the world enjoying the spectacular tennis over the course of the last three weeks, and we're really proud of the uniting effect sport brings to community. We're also really proud of our 12,000 strong people across this site in all manner of jobs from ball kids to umpires to security teams to all the guest services people who work really hard to ensure that everybody comes, everybody that comes to the Australian Open enjoys a really amazing experience and leaves with a huge smile on their faces. And we're also really proud of our sponsors. We have amazing partnerships from Rolex to the Victorian government to Kia, uh, Lujo, Lujao, and uh, Emirates. We've got amazing partnerships that run deep and they enable us to do all the things that we do here and we're very grateful for their support. Now, tonight was a night for our reigning champion, and she demonstrated all that she's made of, and we're really proud of her performance tonight, and we're very proud to have a first-time finalist in Chin Wen uh, demonstrating to us the power of her game, and she is now firmly on the world stage. So congratulations to both of our contestants tonight. And both of these women are amongst the most extraordinary athletes in the world. They're inspiring women to pick up rackets, girls to pick up rackets all over the world. And we're really grateful for the amazing experience that they've had in Australia the last month. Each of them has done an extraordinary job. And Arena, as a second time Grand Slam champion at the Australian Open, congratulations. Thank you very much, Jane. 
Uh, we now call upon the chair umpire for the women's singles final, Jaume Campestol from Spain. I'll ask him to come forward to receive a gift for the part that he's played in tonight's final. Trophy presented by our referee, Wayne McEwen. And so, this young woman has entertained us this tournament with her vibrant personality and a very powerful brand of tennis. She's brought a whole new fan base to our sport. Her rise to stardom continues, and next week, she'll move into the top 10 on the WTA rankings for the very first time in her career. Please welcome Jun Chin Wen to accept her finalist trophy. Well, first of all, I want to say uh, congrats to Arena to have such a wonderful match here and it's my first final and I'm feeling a little bit pity, but that's <laughs> how it is, this experience for me. And in the same time, I want to say thanks for all the fans who come here to watch me. And I feel right now very complicated because I feel that I could do it better, but I didn't die in this match. But anyway, I want to say thanks to my team to help me arrive here. And And also, I really enjoyed to play in this Australia Open. That was amazing memory for me. I'm sure there's going to be more and better in the future. And thanks for all the sponsors, and thanks again to all of you guys. Thank you. Well, what a year it's been since capturing her first Grand Slam title here on Rod Laver Arena. Her consistency has been exceptional, so much so that she reached the pinnacle of our game in September of last year by becoming the world number one. But there couldn't be a more perfect way to kick off a new year than by going back to back in Melbourne. Please welcome the 2024 Australian Open Women's Singles Champion, Arena Sabalenka. First of all, I want to say thank you even for, uh, for being such an inspiration for all of us and receiving this beautiful trophy from you. It's a pleasure for me. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, uh, secondly, I want to congratulate Chi Wen on an um, on incredible couple of weeks here in Australia. I know this feeling, it's really tough to lose in the finals, but you're such an incredible player and such a young girl and you're going you're gonna to be in many more finals. And, um, you're going to get it, and just congrats to you. I want to say congrats to you and your team on, on the amazing job you guys done. Um, no, it's not going to be crying. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you for everyone who made this tournament happen, Tennis Australia, director of the tournament, everyone who was helping me during these two weeks. It's, it's been an amazing couple of weeks and I couldn't, couldn't imagine myself uh, lifting this trophy one more time and it's, it's, 
It's an unbelievable feeling right now, and I'm really speechless. And um, um, as always, my um, my speech is going to be weird, so <laughs> it's not my superpower, but I'll try my best. <laughs> um, team, wow! <laughs> you see, guys, I put a little bit of pressure on them after the Brisbane final, <laughs> and we did a little bit better in this one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you so much for being by my side, no matter what. Uh, I think I think I have everything. Uh, I mean, what I, I forgot what I wanted to say. But without you, I wouldn't be able to <laughs> to achieve so much in this sport. Thank you so much for everything you're doing for me. I'll just keep repeating the same that I'm saying on each speech. So thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I mean, without me, you wouldn't be that good as well, you know? Like, let's, let's accept that fact. <laughs> um, and, and actually, I never, I, I've never speak about my family on the, on the winning speeches before, but I actually have to say thank you so much for, for everything they've done to me. Um, should I keep speaking English because they, they're not going to understand me? <laughs> <laughs> but I hope that, that they'll translate. Um, so I, I love you so much, and uh, you're my biggest motivation, and everything I'm doing, I'm doing for you. So I'm sending love, and I really miss you so much. Thank you, guys. And did, they, did they speak about incredible crowd here? No, I think I forgot, but actually, guys, thank you so much for, for all the support during these two weeks. I really enjoy playing in front of you. This is what makes this place special, and that's... Sorry, I said again? <laughs> so, I love you so much, and I can't wait to come back, and hopefully... <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Wow, that was long. Sorry. Congratulations once again, Arena. Well played. Well, that concludes our official presentation. There'll be a photo opportunity, and then Arena will be completing a lap of honour uh, with the trophy, the Daphne Akers Memorial Cup. Would you please give these two wonderful women a final round of applause as we wrap up the women's singles tournament for the 2024 Australian Open. Well, what a wonderful moment for both players. Heartbreak for Chin Wen, but a lot of learning, I suspect, Chanda. Not just on the court and to go through that match, but to get up there on stage and to have to feel the hurt, the disappointment, and have to stand there. It's not easy, but it's all part of the learning curve. Yeah, it's the, the toughest thing to do after the immense disappointment of coming so close to a trophy and to not be holding up the number one but I think for Zhang Chinwen you know she's such a dynamic player she's going to be a star and you can see her see how she just radiates out there you can really feel her personality even the way she communicates how she she makes herself understood it's a special thing and we're looking forward to many more of these big matches from her. And Arena Sabalenka, how cute was she? At all smiles and rightfully so after defending her first major title, getting major title number two, and perhaps being able to appreciate it a little bit more. It's different every time. And, you know, Sabalenka, she has just been awesome here in Australia these last couple of years. Yep, she looks right at home here on Rod Laver Arena. Yeah, it was really unchallenged all tournament long and no one was able to get anywhere near the performance that she put on from start to finish. And to be handed the trophy from such an incredible champion in her own right, Yvonne Gulagong Kali. I mean, you see players all tournament long appreciating these greats watching them appreciating their tennis supporting them and it's just so nice to have them a part of this cer ceremony as well yeah 50 years since Yvonne last won it here and you can
can see the the photographers all waiting to get that perfect shot. And I can only imagine how big this would have been back in China for Chin Wen. And the, and the excitement that she brings to the sport absolutely. worldwide. Yeah, absolutely. We saw pictures of Alina behind the scenes watching this match. And, you know, she was the inspiration for a player like Zhang Chin Wen. You know, she has led the way and, and how gratifying it must be for Li Na to see this this young player, this young Chinese woman in this moment. And she's only going to learn from this experience playing against a champion like Sabalenka. I mean, this is what the sport is all about. It's the highs, it's the lows and everything in between. And you just appreciate it that much more when you do get to the top of the mountain. That's right, she said she was a little disappointed with her performance, but I don't think she needs to be disappointed. She should be proud. Now Sabalenka can be a little more creative. <laughs> Learn from her trophy lift last year and do it a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, this is the moment. So well deserved. All the hard work, all the fight, the sacrifices yeah. you make throughout the year, in the off season, putting the work in, and it's to try to be in this moment. Yeah, it's been 20 years in the making, hasn't it? 25 year old, and started the game at five years of age, and always been destined for greatness. And I feel, Chanda, that. Sabalenka is just getting better and we may not have seen the best of her yet, I'm sure of it. This is always a fun shot, the spider cam out of from up above with the Melbourne sign. It's a dynamic shot of the champion with the trophy. <laughs> and I do think Sabalenka is getting better. I think she's trying to add components to her game and when you have as big a game as she has in the next step keep consistency but also you look to move forward and we saw her do that in this tournament most notably in her semi-final match against golf she did it just enough in this final match as well and that would leave opponents nowhere to go to you can't just float the ball back up the middle when you're trying to get her shots back in play. So, so much to look forward to for Arena Sabalenka. And it's just the start of this 2024 season. A little bit of a reward for the ball persons who, you know, are some of the unsung heroes of these tournaments. That's right. They were lucky enough to be selected to do the final tonight. What a thrill it is for them to get this opportunity right here on Rod Laver Arena. Yeah, this is where Arena Sabalenka can walk around and so many fans who have been waiting patiently to get a shot of her up close and personal two-time Australian Open champion. Well, history suggests it's hard to do go back to back and let's wait to Australian Open 2025 where she goes for a three-peat. <laughs> you know, she hinted at that fact. Fingers crossed. As she spoke during the ceremony, looking forward to coming back and potentially defending her title once again. But, you know, let's stay in the moment. Yeah. This is pretty special. Yeah, her, team, right. <laughs> her team will come out and oh, this I'll enjoy this. Yeah. yeah, no player is an island. They have so much support. Their teams behind them. Sabalenka spoke about her family back home. Playing for them. And 
there's so much that motivates a player behind the scenes. Motivates them to try to get to this moment. Yeah, it's a lovely touch. <laughs> it is. Spectacular. She's like, I need the trophy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dubrov on the right, the coach. He doesn't say a lot. You don't get a lot out of him, but. Now, you can't lift the trophy when you didn't win it, no. though. That's kind of a no no yeah. right there. <laughs> Congratulations to Craig Tiley and his team. They've pulled off an amazing Australian Open here. Now the coach gets the trophy as well. That's a fantastic touch. Amazing. It really is a team effort and showing appreciation for those closest to the players yeah. that achieve these great accomplishments. That is something unique and entirely special all on its own. Go that trophy, that's for sure. 